Hey y'all, I'm the man Dan here coming to you from my home. You can see, there's my big dog Hanky right there. He does not fix cars, obviously. Um, I wanted to do you a quick voiceover for the Subaru valve body. Um, these, I see it a lot in the Imprezas and the Crosstrex. They have, they set, seem to set some codes for, circuit codes for solenoids in the valve body and unfortunately the only way you can get them is from subaru and you gotta spend silly money to get the whole valve body i've seen prices anywhere from 1100 to 2100 bucks for the valve body when it's just that silly little solenoid that you saw in my preview video fail so after the second or third one of these i just felt really bad about making these people spend all this money to get the get the light out and get the car fixed. So we did some research on the last one, the one you're going to see pictures of here. And um, I'm going to be straight up with you. This is not a DIY type fix. This is technicians who, this needs to be done by technicians who have proper tools, procedures, have had transmissions apart before, understand things like torque procedures and just the general how to put these things together properly. Anyway, so we're going to get right to it. So the valve body on these is actually on top of the transmission, right underneath the throttle body. You're going to see a picture of it here. So the cover comes up, and there's a couple bolts. Um, I know it's all the black ones, and there's two of them that are also, uh, that are the natural finish ones, like the shiny ones. They're going to have to come up too. I don't remember which ones they are. Anyway, um... Then you're going to get, that's the valve body. Then you're going to get it out. You're going to get it up on the bench. You know, flip it over and you'll be able to see these are all the solenoids, all these little black cans with the wires going to them. Those are the ones that do all the shifting, the all-wheel drive, everything for these uh, Subaru CVT transmissions. I had a P0971, which was a code for the all-wheel drive solenoid, which you're going to see here with the black and the orange wires going to it. So all we had to do <clears throat> after we found the solenoids, and uh, shout out to Tommy, uh, the owner of King's Auto Repair, who obviously I work there, and he hooked me up and he found these parts for me. Anyway, so after that, it was just a matter of undoing a couple of these little 10 millimeter bolts, unplugging the solenoid, plugging it back in, obviously, reinstalling it with a new valve body gasket, checking the trans fluid, and it was good to go. Uh, the customers now had the car for about 48 hours after I drove it a bunch the other day. Um, or the day I fixed it. And it's it's all good. So, um, again, this is not a DIY thing. If you are a Subaru owner and you are having solenoid codes and they tell you you need a valve body, maybe show them this video. See if they can help you out. I will put the links for the parts in the description. I'm probably going to have to put them in a comment because I don't have the paperwork with me here tonight. I should be able to put it up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just want to see you guys see you guys save this save the money and just help all of us in the end.